In this video series, we will complete a Revit structural project in small, easy steps. Please subscribe our channel for future updates. In our previous video, we have modeled our all the elements. Now let's start with footing marks. Open top of footing plan. Now go to annotation ribbon and click on tag all button. Choose structural foundations tag and click on apply. And then press OK. Foundation tags have been applied on the center of footings. Select everything and apply filter on foundation tags. Now drag tags to bottom corner of footing. Now we will change foundation tag family. To view type mark on the footing, select tag and click on edit family. Now select label and click on edit label button. From parameter list, click on type mark parameter to select it and remove type name from here. Now click on load into project and close button. We can see all the footings are marked as F1. Now we will repeat the same steps to create column marks. From annotation ribbon, click on tag all and select structural column tags and click on apply and then OK button. Now we will select all the column tags. By applying filter to all elements, align the column tags on the upper left side of columns. Now we will edit the family of these column tags. Select tag and click on edit family. Select label and click on edit label. Now from the list select type mark parameter and remove type name parameter. Now click on load into project and close button. All the columns have been marked. Now we will open level one. Here we will assign marks to our plinth beams. From annotation ribbon, click on tag all button. And then select structural framing tag and click on apply and then press OK button. Now select tag and click on edit family button. Select label and choose type mark parameter. And remove type name parameter. Click on load into project and close button. Plinth beams have been marked. Now we will repeat the steps for roof beams. Click on tag all button form annotation ribbon. Choose structural framing tags and click on apply and OK buttons. All the roof beams have been marked. Now our roof beam and plinth beam framing plans are ready. Our column and foundation layout plan is also ready. In our next video, we will make our structural drawings. What do you think about the video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.